from the Gruffalo to Stickman. Pip and Posy to Princess Pearl, illustrator Axel Scheffler has drawn so many of our most loved characters. He's also illustrated this year's BBC One Christmas Day animation, The Smeds and the Smooths. Let's take a look. On a far off planet, there lived a young Smed and her name was Janet. Bill, like the other Smooths, was blue. And these were the words of Grandmother Smoo. Never, never play with a Smed. Never, never play with a Smoo. And Axel joins me now. That looks brilliant. Why was the Smeds and the Smooths important to you? I think it's a really nice story about people getting together and seeing that they're all the same. There's, it's this kind of Romeo and Juliet in outer space, so they're, they're, they don't like each other, but o over the course of the story they start to see that they are the same. And it's, it's a very, very nice message and a lovely story for Christmas, I think. Looking forward to that one. Now, you've got a new book out with uh, Nanny McPhee actor Emma Thompson. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yes, Emma has written a very lovely um, nostalgic story about um, the dog of the first own, uh, director of the Victorian Albert Museum in London. And the dog is called Jim. It's a very scruffy dog. And it's also about the invention of the Christmas card. And I think, I, I don't know exactly how much is fictional and how much is real, but it's based on real, on a real story. And she's written a really lovely, lovely text and I was allowed to illustrate it. So it was great. What was the best bit about illustrating it? Um, it's not a picture book, so I didn't have to do big double spreads and I could do lots of little little drawings and I prefer that I work, like to work small. Well, we've had lots of comments and questions in from Newsround viewers. Autumn Breeze asks, what was your favourite book to illustrate and why? That's a tough one, isn't it? You've got so many. I've done so many and some were harder to do than others, but I did like the Smets and the Smooths because I had a lot of freedom inventing those aliens and the... Mm -hmm the world of them, the, the different planets, and usually when I have to draw an owl, it has to look recognisable as an owl with Alien. I had, I had more freedom and I enjoyed that. Brilliant. Well, Slime Elf wants to know, have you ever messed up a drawing? That happens quite a lot, that there's something I'm not happy, happy with and I start again. And I do everything by hand, I don't use a computer, so I have to, when something else goes wrong, I have to do the whole thing again. The worst time was when I finished a double spread of the Zog book and I poured a mug of coffee over it and ah! had to start all over again. I think that was the worst case, but it does happen a lot. Happens to the experts too then, that's good to know. Yeah. Um, Dinosaur Boy asks, what are your top tips to become an illustrator? Well, I think doing a lot of drawing and trying different materials maybe, like you can paint, you can draw with pens, you can use colour pencils, you can use watercolours. I think that's, that's a good tip. And also to be very curious and to look at lots of books and try to read stories and do the pictures for them. And, also go to art galleries, so any, any to look at images and be curious and open for, yeah, anything you see. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, thank you so much. Some good advice there.